Welcome to the Jill on Money Show. It is Sunday, March 3rd, and we are here answering financial questions. If you have one about any topic, it can be really broad ranging, could be overall taxes, it could be into the investment strategy you're using, maybe a question about whether or not to move to a new job or whether to upsize, downsize, a real estate question. We love all of it. All you need to do is go to our website, jillonmoney.com, click the contact us button, complete the form, and don't forget to let us know if you'd be willing to come on the air either via audio or video, because we got this neat show called Jill on Money, powered by the compound. You can check it out at YouTube or just click the link on our website. Today, we are talking to Michael, who's on the line from Michigan. I've got two kids. They are a senior in high school and junior in high school. So in the next couple of years, they'll be going to college. And to date, we've been mainly focused on our retirement savings, and we have not started a 529 or any other dedicated college um, savings. So as we go through this, and obviously we're going to encourage scholarships, the, uh, the thought is, what, what should we do? Do we let the kids take out student loans? It's our intention to actually pay for college for them, just kind of as a gift for them to get them started in life and have them focus more on retirement because I think there's great value in that. Well, let's let's hear a little bit about who's this we. Um, are you married? I am married. Um, I'm 51. My wife is 45. As mentioned, uh, two kids, junior and senior, so 18 and currently 16. So tell me about what you and your wife do in terms of earning a living. Yeah, so I'm full-time uh, wage earner of the, of the family. My wife does a little bit of uh, part-time work on the side, but uh, basically households is dependent upon my income. And how much do you earn? Base-wise, I'm around the 140 range. Um, annual bonus can be between twenty to 25000 That's great. And do you own a home? We do. And tell me how much the house is worth. Uh, currently about 525 and we own or owe about uh, 200 on it. What's at the a, mortgage interest rate? 2.75. Oh boy. Is that a th- 30 or a 15? Uh, we set it up as a 20. A 20 year. Okay. Got it. Tell me about the emergency reserve fund. You got some cash on hand? We do. Um, checking, it's around 30000 And then I've got a brokerage account that I kind of consider in, in that same space. Mm-hmm. That's around 50. What about retirement? What do you do on that 160 or 165 of annual income? How much are you putting away for retirement? Um, I'm putting about 35000 Wow. That's great. It's a focus. <laughs> That's great. Do you have a 401k or a 403b? What do you have? Yeah, it's a 401k. We've got about a million in, in that fund. Wow. We've got a traditional rollover. It's around 800000 and then a Roth at three hundred and fifteen. Holy smokes. You're rocking it, dude. You got more than $2 million saved. And, you know, 140 grand is great. 160 grand is great. But it's not like you're making $800,000 a year. So you really have done a fantastic job. Is there extra money? Like, yeah, you have a brokerage account, but are you are you actually funding that? Or is that just money that has grown? Um, we are funding it. We do use that account for our vacations, as well as also just kind of just in case something happens majorly. Okay. And how much goes in there? Uh, 800 a month. You're cranking, dude. You're cranking. All right. Are these kids going to um, Michigan? Like you have a great state school system, don't you? Yeah. So plan is uh, we are willing, I didn't qualify this up front, but we're willing to pay a state tuition um, for the kids. Which would be how much? I believe it's going to be Tuition's around sixteen thousand, and then room and board on top of that. So we expect it's going to be close to twenty five. So you want to fund twenty five grand a year for the eight years that will be funding college, right? Four and four. Okay, so that's good. Is it possible that you just pay for this out of cash flow and just don't save a lot while that's all happening? It's possible. Yes. Uh, well, I'm sure we can get the majority of it, and that's kind of my anxiousness, if you will, to stop saving. Is that the right thing to do now? Or do we let the, the kids do their student loans and then pay the student loans when they come due? Mm. I'm sort of looking at this and saying to myself, you are saving, you're, you're saving so much money. And it doesn't sound like you're big spenders. In general, what we often will say to people is, look, keep funding your retirement. You know, you've got 
let's see, this kid's 16. So we've got so six years or so, right? And in those six years, you'll plow more money into your retirement. You'll be very close to 59 and a half by that time anyway. You could pull money out if you needed it. And you could simply help pay down those loans. I guess that my my concern, not concern, but my my issue is that these are going to be very, they're higher interest loans than you probably would like at this point in your life. Can I split the difference with you? Would it be possible for you guys to pull back a little bit on your retirement contributions or maybe even just say, uh, for example, like, you know, instead of 800 a month into the brokerage account, could we maybe make that more like $1,500 a month and fund that brokerage account, keep piling money in there and let's accumulate some more money that you would help the kids pay down those loans, some of the loans, or at least have some choices and we can see where they land. We want people to establish money that has already been taxed. Not that I don't love for you to save for retirement, but I do feel like if this is a really important part of your um, your value system for your family, and it's a goal that you want to accomplish to really do this for your kids, we have to actually do something today to make that happen. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the d- today part is, I think you should have some more money in the brokerage account. Not like you have to pay for a lot this second. You can say, like, let's see, maybe, you know, he ends up at a great school, maybe he gets scholarships, maybe it's not 25, but like that you will have some opportunity and sure, apply for the loans, apply for grants, see where you go, but that having that brokerage account can help you repay or maybe help him pay that down much more quickly and give yourself a little bit of wiggle room and see where things land. Yeah, and that's where, you know, the first year seems like very easy, very manageable. It's that second, third, and fourth year where it's double. That's that's where the anxiety right. probably comes That's why, from. that's exactly right. And so what I think you're going to have to do is, you know, I think at this point, you have to make a decision about doing some savings outside of retirement to make that possible. Yes, they should apply for aid that you should, you absolutely are the family that should use the FAFSA form and you should, and it's certainly when the two kids are in school together, you're going to get some, you're going to get something. Maybe they get more than we think. Maybe it's not going to be 25 a grand a year you need to come up with. Maybe you're going to have to come up with 15 grand a year and you're going to be like, oh my God, this is awesome. I can totally do this in my sleep, but let's see. But you need more money in cash if you're going to help them out. That's good. I like it. All right. Now, have you done some estate planning? Um, we are 99.9% there. <sighs> How do I push that over the goal line? We need to set the signatures on the paper. That's it. All right, good. Get that done. If you have a question or you have a concern that maybe is bugging you, maybe it's a big matter, maybe it's a small matter, why not get in touch with us? Go to jillonmoney.com, click the Contact Us button, and we'll do pretty much everything else after that. While you're on the website, don't forget to check out all the content that lives there, including my book, which is now out in paperback. It's called The Great Money Reset, based on my conversations with you guys. So you guys made this all happen. Okie dokie, do something nice for someone else today. It's going to make you feel so great. It's going to make that person feel so great. Who doesn't want that? Change your work, change your wealth, change your life. Thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow. 